We are going to go outside and explore the yard. We're going to go and find some eggs. Super because we haven't checked them in a long time, so they hide them. <clears throat> oh, it's like an earthquake. Here, are chickens. Okay, hello. Okay, now we are going to go okay. in our beautiful chicken coop. I also said chicken coop. <laughs> Hi, Carmel. Where's Carmel? Right there. There's our new chicken. Hi, Carmel. Hello. Here's one. And that's how much we got. <laughs> Last winter, we only got like one egg a day. I'm getting like a million. No, we're getting like a million. Whoa. Whoa, how much is that now? There's more. Oh, now oh. look how fluffy that chicken is. Look how tiny this egg is. Oh, now how much eggs are there? Like a million? I think that's one dozen. No, that's two dozen. One, two, ten, twelve, twenty, twenty-six eggs. Okay, now let's go to the next part. Wow. Wow. That's a sure a lot of it. That's sure a lot of eggs. So 30 plus 4, 30, 60, 4, 30, 60, 64. 64. That's a lot of eggs. Another sunny day. Oh, in the sunroom now. Wow, it's so nice out here. So warm, and there's a bird in here. Oh, now he's in the house. Great. <laughs> okay, well that's something we'll take care of today. We're definitely wanting to plant some seeds, some starts, really soon. But um, to do that, we have to clean this place out. This has become a catch-all room for the building materials and other project things that we had over the winter. It's nice in here, huh, Amy? Messy, though, huh? So it's time for us to clean out this sunroom. Okay, here's the big reveal, but um, don't get your hopes up, it's not finished. But for one day, and considering what it was, this is a big deal. So, you remember what it looked like before. So at least we can get around now. Um, and it is muddy, but we can deal with that. Now it's time to start some seeds. We're going. <laughs> okay, we're going inside because it's going to be a lot more comfortable on the dry ground inside than it will be to try to get all of our kids in this dirty mud. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you guys excited? Here's the lettuce. Nice and eatable. Strawberries. Strawberries. Ooh. Strawberries. You want me to fill it up for you and you can put the seeds in? We are. Seed junkies, basically. We spend probably far too much. <laughs> we probably spend far too much money on seeds, and even though we have plenty of seeds in our giant garden Daddy. garden tote over there, Daddy. we cannot help it. When we go into a garden store, we have to buy more seeds. Yeah, I'm planting squash. Ooh, good job. One seed in one. What kind? Are bigger. Probably, probably two or three seeds per pot. These ones are all going to be squashed. Let's go and wait! Come on, little bug! 
Yeah. Daddy, there's a dirt in what? here. Yeah. What's in here? We don't have to put that. <laughs> Broccoli. Ooh, yay. We can actually sprout those and eat them. Awesome. These are the ones we harvested. Yep. Yay. The yummiest tomatoes ever. They're so good. <laughs> I love those. Is this flax? Daddy, can you open this? What is this one? Beans. Dwarf peas. That's a great thing to plant. No, right that now. is beans. I found it. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Oh, good. That's the one we're looking for. <laughs> this is the spinach that we bought at the store. These are the containers that they came in. So we're going to try and plant some so that we don't have to buy any more of these containers. And we're trying to see if we can use these as little greenhouses for the spinach. We'll see. Hopefully th that will work. I think they'll work great. I'm excited. We're sick of going to the store so often just because we ran out of spinach. <laughs> yeah. They're all planted? Okay. Yep. Okay. Watermelon, squash, beans. Beans? What kind of beans? I'm right down. I don't know. <laughs> Butternut squash is what that says. Try to get all of the soil wet. Yeah. Here's the spinach. It is. Good job, Banjo. Could I open it? Yeah. It's, just, it's a really thick shell. Is there spinach? Mm -hmm. You can drop it in mine if you want. Good job, Emmy. Yeah. My advice, teach him young. It's a lot easier for him to learn. Oops, sorry. Whoa. Okay. Is that peas? Yep. Yay. Good job. Ding. Where's mine? Lettuce. What else is in there? Lettuce uh, alpha, and alpha. Yep. Alpha, alpha. Okay, well we planted quite a few seeds. And we <laughs> did plant And even though um, it might have been a little bit hectic, to me that's worth it because we are we're trying to teach our kids self sufficiency. We want them, even if they don't grow to be homesteaders or farmers I'm or anything a like that. Homesteader? You are, you are a homesteader. You're a banjo's always calling herself a cowgirl. That's awesome. <laughs> but regardless of where they end up living when they're grown up, I'd like them to know how to plant seeds. That's something that all human beings should know how to do, um, because everybody has to eat, and so I think that every person should have some experience with growing their own food and eventually get to the point where they can grow all their own food. That's the goal. So it's worth teaching these kids how to do it. Okay, thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <You're awesome. laughs> with Emmy trying to to destroy everything as we were <laughs> as we ruin them. ruin them 